the final piece to our discussion of slopes of lines is slopes of perpendicular and parallel lines. The slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. The slopes of parallel lines are equal. What we mean by this are if the slope of the first line was two thirds, the slope of the line perpendicular to that would be negative three halves. So we change the sign and make the reciprocal. What that would look like on a graph would be one line would have a slope of two thirds, the other line would have a slope of negative three halves, and they would cross each other at a right angle. Another example, we could have the first line have a slope of negative two sevenths. Can you think of what the line perpendicular to that would have for a slope? It would be positive seven halves, or the opposite reciprocal. Parallel lines are much simpler. If you think of how parallel lines look, we have two lines that travel in the same direction. So parallel lines simply have slopes that are the same. If my first line has a slope of two thirds, my second line will have a slope that is also two thirds. Here's a question for you. Are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? What we'll need to do is calculate the slope of the red line and calculate the slope of the green line, line P and line N. Let us start with line P. We will do 2 minus negative 3 over 4 minus 6. That gives us 5 over negative 2. We have our first slope. Line P's slope is negative 5 halves. Now we need to calculate line N. We do 10 minus 5 over negative 3 minus negative 1. Or 5 over negative 2. Our first line has a slope of 5 over negative 2 and our second line has a slope of 5 over negative 2. Therefore, we would call these lines parallel. The symbol for parallel looks like that. It looks like two letter L's next to each other. Here's a question for you. We want to graph the line that passes through 4, 3 and is perpendicular to line AB. Well, let's put line AB on our graph first. It's at negative 3, 4, so we go left 3 and up 4. The second point is at 1, 9, so we go right 1, then up 9. Now we connect our dots, and we have our first line. What we want to do now is be perpendicular to that, but it tells us we want to be specifically through the point positive 4, positive 3. So we want to create the slope, or find the slope, of the line that passes through the green dot that will meet the blue line at a right angle. It may seem complicated at first, but it's actually a simple exercise. The first thing we need to do is find the slope of line AB. We do that by 9 minus 4 over 1 minus negative 3. This gives us a slope of 5 fourths. We can check this by looking at the graph. Count from the points. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, 2, 3, 4. I went from blue dot to blue dot. I have the correct slope. Next, we need the slope that is perpendicular to that. Remember, the slopes of perpendicular would be the opposite reciprocal. The reciprocal means flip the fraction. Opposite means change the sign. We now have a slope of negative 4 fifths. So let's start over. 
we have our line, which is the blue line on the graph. We have a point at 4, 3. What we're trying to do is graph a line that goes through the dot that is perpendicular. Well, we now know the slope. It's negative 4, 5. To do a slope of negative 4 fifths, we would go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then to the right 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We could have also gone up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and left 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if we play connect the dots with those three dots, we have created the line that is perpendicular. We have graphed the line that is perpendicular to the first line AB and it passes through the point 4, 3. Make sure to ask any questions you may have when you come back to class in case you're not understanding how to do slope with parallels and perpendiculars.